buildings. And their careful assessment of multiple options and out of abundance and concern for students to ensure a seamless transition, minimize disruptions, the learning process and student acclimation, eliminate stressors that have the potential to impact families, and to control cost overrun and spending. We have determined the transitioning toward success plan offers the best option. The 2015-16 school year will begin with students remaining in their current schools. There will be revised start times for the Emerson site. That's Emerson, Lincoln, and Clara Bar. They will start at hour and at hour earlier as well. This will enable us to minimize transition and adjustment to concerns and issues. It will keep the learning process intact and uninterrupted as well as consistent. And it will mitigate separation issues as well as keep commute times the same. The cost will be contained. In January 2016, the former Emerson site Buchanan site students only will occupy the new Emerson and Buchanan sites. After the move, the sites will be equally safe compared to the safety and security they enjoy currently. And the demolition of the former Emerson and Buchanan schools will begin to commence through January and February 2016. Our Barton, Lincoln, Washington, Fitch, Maple Shade, Devine, and Lafayette students will remain in their buildings until the end of the 2015-16 school year. Again, this serves to minimize disruptions to classroom assignments and the educational process in general and ensures that students remain in their communities for another year with teachers and classmates that are familiar with. By September 2016, all new schools will be completed and open for learning. I ask for your patience over the next several months. In a relatively short period of time, our district will be able to enjoy the advantages and amenities that our new schools will provide. I share your enthusiasm and anticipation, but in the best interest of our students and community, we must be content to wait just a little bit longer. This clearly affects the school calendar for next year. The new start date recommended for the superintendent and any board approval will be September 1st, 2015. It's not unusual, it's consistent with our starting date previously in our calendar. So not much difference there. There will be a difference, however, in our winter break. It will be extended by three days to accommodate and assist in the transition, not for our students, but for our staff, <coughs> from the current Emerson and Buchanan sites to the new Emerson and Buchanan buildings. So an extended Christmas break, I know this will upset our students, but you'll be helpful with that. And January 4th, our class is resumed. So three additional days. Our kids have to enjoy winter with you, their families. So that concludes our formal presentation. Uh, I know that there were some tablets or iPads to write questions down. I'd be happy to receive them and respond. And just a reminder as well, we're, we're being videotaped for community convenience. The 18th, last day at the end of the calendar? Oh, that's still in development. We have some professional development and transition issues we're trying to balance and consider for the, the divine site and the other buildings that need to move over next summer. So it'll be mid June at some point. So not much deviation at all in the calendar, except for the extended winter break. It's three days difference.